Well, good evening from Sagebrush Country at California's Mono Lake. Second oldest lake in North America, twice as salty as the ocean. A lot of unique and special things around this lake, and we're going to go take a look at it. Hope you ride along. Coming up on the lake now. Hopefully we can look over from this little butte. One thing I remembered about Mono Lake, visiting it many years ago, was how tall the shrubs were. Standing next to a bitter brush that's about eight or ten feet tall, tall sagebrush, and then the plant in bloom in there with the pink blossoms is called Desert Peach. It's got these beautiful pink blossoms on it. It's in bloom all out through the bitter brush and the sagebrush here, and makes it look really cool. Looking at the back side of the Sierras, these, these, that's the snow left from winter of 2023. It's late May. Still gonna come down into this basin. And there looks like there's a lot of it yet to come. Okay, a couple of real unique things about Mono Lake is one is these tufa towers. You'll see them around different parts of the perimeter of the lake which are basically, they call them calcium carbonate limestone that formed around springs that were down underwater at one point. Now with the lake being drawn down over the last few decades, they're exposed and they just look really neat. And then the other thing is the lake has a real green cast to it. It's hard to see at this angle with the waves from the wind. I'll fly a drone over it and you get a better look at it, which is algae makes it the green cast. Species of brine shrimp then feed on that algae, and all kinds of waterfowl and birds come through to feed on the brine shrimp, so it's got its own unique ecosystem. Walk into these tufus, and as, just as I remember, this sagebrush is almost chest high, so it's no easy <coughs> walking out to the shore and there's these little bird's eyes that are in blue. There's horse dung wherever you go out here. Which tells me there must be wild horses around this lake. Trying to figure out how to get to the shore. Look how tall this sagebrush and rabbit brush is. Road crossing here. <laughs> this is one of the streams coming into Mono Lake. And now there's no crossing it here today. Check that out. Snow melt's coming off, so the lake's getting a lot of replenishment this year. There's a long history with Mono Lake. Southern California 
has taken most of the runoff for their water needs. The lake's been drying up, so oh, a good water year like, like this ought to really help the situation out. So down by the lake here, you see a few pines mixed in. This is a special Sierra pine called the Jeffrey pine. Three needled pine and smells really good. If you ever get a chance, sniff the trunk of one of these things and you'll be surprised. Most of the land around the lakes, BLM land, which means there's lots of roads and they're good gravel roads for the most part and dispersed camping spots. So really friendly place to visit. Bitter brush is starting to bloom out as these nice little yellow blossoms doesn't doesn't last for very long so enjoy them while they last sun's starting to set now love this time of evening you know that low light really pops things out Get those islands out in the lake now really highlights them Beautiful evening. Plenty of water coming down still, flooding across some of these roads into Mono Lake. Main highway here and it's got flood markers as well. Little excitement leaving Mono Lake, hit a hell storm. So look at the hell still on the road. And look at it over in the sagebrush. Uh, it's one of those little intense thunderstorms with hell instead of rain.